so we're here, it's day two of cycling. It's actually day five because we've been in this hostel for five days now, trying to recover. So what we've done with the bikes, the cable ties or the bungee cords that we had were already starting to split because under here they were catching on the tire. So we've got this motorbike style webbing for the front and the back luggage racks. So we're hoping that that will fix the problem. So we're just about ready to set off. We're planning on doing between 30 and 50 kilometers today. We're just going to see how we get on. I'm probably going to be closer to 30 kilometers because it still won't feel great. So we're going to set off shortly and see what happens. But the bikes are still here. We're in this pretty cool hostel. We'll show you the, the main reception. Some awesome artwork on the walls. Let's hit the road. So I'm standing here at the side of the highway, guarding the bike. Daniel's abandoned me to try and push start a Harley Davidson. Don't know how well you can see behind me. The guy broke down at the side of the road. So we thought we'd stop to help as much as we could. We've got some tools and things like that. And Daniel knows about motorbikes. So we're trying to help. So we're taking out the spark plug, adjusted the uh, carburetor. That's still not starting, so we're not sure what it is. So he's down there just now trying to fix it, and I'm left in charge of the bikes. We've arrived at this awesome spot in the middle of this square at this town, which is basically in the middle of nowhere. There's no tourists here, there's nothing really here to see. But there's this quite impressive square with what I presume is a Spanish style church. And we've got the cool, what's the name of this town? Acatzingo. Acatzingo. Acatzingo de Hidalgo. Acatzingo de Lago. De Hidalgo. De Hidalgo. See when I'm trying to find stuff on Google Maps and I'm trying to type in the name of the town, it's a nightmare. It never works. Nothing comes up unpredictive. I'm terrible. What a nice little town. So we've been on the go for a couple hours now. We've done 26 kilometers so far today. We've got 16 more still to go, and then that's us going to be the overnight stop. I'm not sure what's between here and the next town. I don't know if there's anything. All I've seen today so far is pickup truck after pickup truck with farm workers in the back, like eight, 10 people in the back of each pickup truck. Not sure where they're going. I presume it's all farmlands around here. You can see around there's not much going on. Every village and town that we've went through, people are waving at us, they're smiling, they're laughing, they're asking questions, not to me, but to Daniel. And they're like, what are you doing? Why are you guys here? Hello. So yeah, I think we're the, uh, the local entertainment for just now. I'm not sure how many tourists come through this way. I'm guessing it's not many. I'll put a link on the map as to where we are, but I forget the name of every town here. I'm not really sure. Anyone, all of them. We're going to Telecati. Telecati. Like, I don't know, I'm like really bad at names. <laughs> and they're like really weird, so I'm trying. Basically, I know Mexico City and Cancun, that's about it. And Oaxaca, that's where we're going. Yeah, so we're going to keep going for just now. It's only half past two. We've only got 16 kilometers left. I don't feel like we're going to die today. Top of a mountain, so we're doing good. I think we're gonna have some bad. I don't know about tomorrow. <laughs> so for today, it's gonna be okay. We've got the police coming here in the back of the pickup. Oh, it's dusty. Right, we'll see you soon. I'm recording. So there it is. It's always uh, first time. So when we thought we were ahead of schedule and we only had six kilometers left to go for the day, this happened. There's a bit of metal went right into the tire. Oh, so we're just going to replace the inner tube. We 
we've got people all around us just stand and watch them. I'm not quite sure where we are, it feels safe. Do you know my tools? <clears throat> Do you have your tools? Yeah, yeah. The kit. Here, because I anticipated this. Just don't break it. <laughs> I'm going to try and not slice open the inner tube as I. I don't want to slash myself in the face either. Who's idea was to cable tie that there? That's terrible. Now, the only thing with this one is. It is a different valve on the top, but you're sure you've got a pump that fits this? Yes, sir. Cool. Because I don't... <clears throat> Does this go on the outside? Yes. So we're here outside of the Hotel Hillary and I can assure you it's a cracker. Half of it's still under construction so the room next to us has got like a plastic tarpaulin going over the window and the door and uh, yeah there's dust everywhere, there's banging, there's weird shit happening but aside from that the room is okay. There's no Wi-Fi, that's an issue but yeah the room itself is alright. So we're in, I've forgotten the name of the town. When I say I've forgotten, I never actually knew it in the first place, but we're going to go out for a walk and see what it has to offer. So, yeah, this is just off the main drag just now. I'll show you around. So just ahead of us is the main drag, and then beyond that, there's a church and a cathedral and stuff like that. So we're going to take a wander up and have a look and see what this town has to offer. <laughs> <laughs> 